Today we're going to help you fix your slice. Uh, we're going to break down the two most common reasons that we tend to slice the golf ball. And the best part, you got to stay around till the end. Because I'm going to give you a drill that is free. And it is almost a guaranteed uh, slice fix. All right, so make sure you stick around for that. Uh, let's talk about why we tend to slice the ball and the two biggest reasons that I tend to come across uh, why people tend to slice it. Hey, if you're brand new to our channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button. You'll see our future videos that we have coming out and hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. All right, so for those of us that don't know what a slice is, it's for a right-handed golfer. It's when the ball starts off either on the club face right and goes continually right, or the ball starts straight and goes right, or the ball can even start left and still go right. So whenever the ball goes right for a right-handed golfer, it is a slice because your club is swinging across the ball, all right? It's starting here, it's cutting across it, all right? A fade is just if it's a little bit smaller, if it barely moves, all right? Slice is when we get in big trouble, we hit the houses and we struggle a lot. So for the most part, people who tend to slice the golf ball is they tend to rush it from up top, okay? They get it to the top of that backswing and everything opens up quick because they're trying to hit it really hard. Right elbow stays high and then they were going to stand up and they're going to cut across it, right? That is the biggest cause for people slicing it is because our idea of really hitting the ball hard means rotate our shoulders as fast as we can. Fortunately, that just leads to a lot of slicing, right? Especially if you're a big strong guy and you're struggling with slicing, it's because you're opening up your chest way too fast. If we look at a tour player, when they come down from the top of their backswing, right, the hands are here, but you can see how closed the chest is still at that time. And then it doesn't open until much later in the golf swing. So the biggest reason why most people tend to slice it is they turn their shoulders too fast, but mostly it's a sequencing. They don't know what the sequence should be as far as their, how their body moves in the downswing. All right, so the first thing that you can start to do just to help you if you're that person is you've got to slow down and feel like your hands kind of drag on a wall down behind you and then your turn will actually get the club back in front All right so that's the number one most common reason why people tend to slice it the next one is a little bit different okay it is what the club head tends to do so i'll see people get to the top really good and then sometimes they have it laid off that's usually what happens with these folks is when they come down the club will tip out in front and then when it's out in front it's already going to be more of a cross hit all right and those people will hit they'll tend to start it off more online and then it'll just kind of peel off to the right and there's no distance it's going to kill them all right so that's that's a common one is when they kind of tip it out front and they come across it okay one thing that you can always look for if you are somebody who slices it you can look and see where it exits as far as after you hit the ball. So if you see the club kind of exiting really low and around you, most likely you're going to be a person who slices it. Sometimes you can get away with that if you can still hit a draw. All right, but most people who exit really low are going to be the people who slice it. All right, so now we're going to, I'm just going to give you my favorite drill. It's really simple. All you need is a box. Uh, so you can go into your local pro shop, most likely they're going to have a club box or you can go to Bright Dick Sporting Goods or any sports shop that sells golf clubs, they typically are going to have a box. All right, I just put three uh, rows of duct tape around it, um, partly to keep the box together, but the other reason is it helps uh, my students understand which part of the box I want them to hit. Okay, so when you set up to it, you're going to set up to like the middle of the box. Right. Most people who slice it, and you can see some marks on my box, some of the, this is about, about a week old, uh, my other box was destroyed because most a lot of people tend to slice it. All right, they'll come down and they're gonna hit the box. It's very simple. So what you're gonna do, the sequence I want you to do to start off with, is you're gonna start off with a small swing and you're gonna try to hit the front of the box and make it twist away from you. 
and so it twists out to the right. That means it's shallow and you're coming at a good angle. All right, you can make it a little bit bigger next if you want to. You're still going to do the same thing. And it still just twists away. You shouldn't be like knocking it off the world. It should just be a brush of the front. All right, and it should always twist to the right. If it ever, if you ever hit out here, you'll definitely know the difference. All right, and then what you're going to do is you're going to put a ball down. All right, and your club head is going to be pretty much almost touching the box when you do this. All right, and you'll notice when I take the club back and I drop it down, you can see how close my shoulders are and how my hands. The only way for you to actually hit a draw or to fix that, that slice is you're going to have to feel like you look like this right, on the way down into impact. It's going to feel really close. It won't actually be that way. All right, feel versus real is very different in golf. All right, and then you're going to hit your little shot and you're going to try to still hit the box. Okay. And I just barely nicked it, so it worked out fine. All right, that is the easiest drill for you to do. You got to make sure you nick it and the box spins out to the right. Okay, if you're taking swings and you're never hitting the box, that's okay. You're path would probably be pretty good right if you're not hitting the box and you're still hitting a slice or a fade it could be the club face is open all right but if you want to get rid of that fade and you want to be somebody who draws the ball this will be the drill for you just make sure you set up correctly hit that front of the box on the inside maybe change your sequence a little bit right you can eventually go faster and faster but don't go all fast at the very beginning And you'll be somebody who draws it or hits it nice and straight.